Hello everyone. In today's video, we're gonna learn about the most underrated feature in Traytron, that is the advanced price execution settings. Now, lately, a lot of users are having trouble or doubts regarding this setting. So, in today's video, hopefully, it will be addressed. Now, essentially, there are two main aspects of price execution. One is price execution one, the other is price execution two. Now, price execution one has three features initiation price revision attempts and increase by price execution 2 has timeout and final action now initiation price has four options average of bid ask best price market price and ltp now market price is the simplest one it will essentially send a market order so suppose your universal exit condition is met at 310 pm so whatever is the open positions they'll be squared off using a market order now the other three orders, average of bid ask, best price and LTP, all these will send a limit order instead of a market order. Now LTP is also similar, it will send a limit order but the price will be of the latest LTP and average of bid ask and best prices. So best price, it will if it's a buy order, the best bid price will be used as the limit price and for sell orders, the best ask price will be used. And average of bid ask is also similar. It will just take the averages of both the price and use as use as the use it as the limit price. Now, uh, one thing to notice: average of bid ask and best price. If Traytron receives the data for that particular tick with the different with the bid ask prices, then only it will be used. Otherwise, it will return LTP. So essentially, from the previous tick, if there's no difference in the bid ask prices, it will be sent as an LTP order only. LTP. So that's out of the way. Now let's take an example and hopefully we'll be able to explain it better. So let's take three seconds as the timeout. So please note that timeout uh, cannot be zero seconds. You have to keep some number. So let's take an example of three seconds for this. Now let's say uh, your LTP is 200. So and if you have selected initial initiation prices LTP, the first order will be sent at 200 rupees price. Now, if that order is not filled, price will be modified to 200.50. Now, why 200.50? It's because we have selected increase by 10 ticks. Now, one tick is 0 0.05. So, 10 ticks is 0 0.5. Now timeout is the time considered between each revision attempt and after the final attempt. So basically, let's say the first order is sent, limit order of 200 rupees. Now suppose if that order is not filled, we receive the uh, response in API that the order is not filled, we add the timeout of 3 seconds plus 3 seconds and then we revise the price. The same limit order will be modified to a new price 200.50. Now, if again this order is not filled, the same after the same time total time, API response plus the timeout, timeout is three seconds. Again, the price is modified to 201. Again, if the second revision attempt is not filled, again the price is modified to 201.50. Now, this is the third revision attempts, three revision attempts because we have selected three. Now, suppose even after the third revision attempt, your order is still not filled. Traytron will check the final action. Now, final action, there are three settings. Cancel, execute at market price and ignore. Let's take an example of execute at market price. So, suppose the final revision attempt was 201.50 and you have selected as market price. What Traytron will do is, it will modify the existing limit order and increase the price by 5%. So the new price will be 201.50 plus 5%. This will be the new price. Now one thing to notice, Traytron does not send a new market order. It will just modify the existing limit order and increase the price. Now the idea behind it is if you place a limit order above LTP, it will execute at market order only. So that's the reasoning. Now cancel option will cancel the order and return the status as error execution. And in error execution, you can manage your trades manually like you do normally. Uh, you can use try again, completed manually, anything that you prefer. Now ignore will essentially cancel the limit order which is unfilled 
and uh, it will move to continue uh, the condition checking it will not return error, error execution so uh, team recommends that you uh, users use cancel or executed market price now the reason why ignore is a bit frowned upon is basically suppose uh, you are trading a straddle so an entry uh, two legs are, uh, order are sent one is c leg and one is p leg now suppose after following the price execution settings the c leg is executed but the p leg is not executed even after the third attempt now if you have selected ignore what will happen is your c leg will be executed and your p leg will not be executed because you have selected ignore and in ignore it will move to condition checking again after the final action because your c leg is entered the status of your strategy will be live entered and once it is live entered it won't check for the other leg again so basically what will happen at the end is in your straddle only the one leg will be executed and other will not so what you guys can do is it is uh, suggested that users use cancel or execute at market price as an option i hope everything is clear in each of the setting whenever you have doubt you can just click on the i button and all the options are available explained here and if that's not enough we have also written a blog on advanced settings i'll link it in the video below and you can read this too so thank you for watching have a great day